All right. Hello there. My name is Torn Leonard. I'm the creator of Blend My NFTs, the free NFT Blender plugin software that is being developed for the this cozy place NFT collection. If you're interested, please check out the Discord link in the description. And let's get started. So this tutorial is just going to be a basic guide and glossary of how to run the Blend My NFTs scripts in Blender with your Blend with your uh, Blender NFT collection file. So first of all, let me just go to the repository where all of these, where, where, where the uh, script is. So let's go to GitHub. Hold on, uh, oh, there we go. And I'm just gonna search Blend My NFTs. and it should be the first one, there we go. All right, so just a note about this video. This video is being recorded on November 7th, 2021. So there might be some differences between the files that I'm using here. Some of them might be different, might be completely different uh, depending on when you're watching this. We might have already moved over to a full add-on for Blender, but right now for the purposes of this video, uh, this is just a script. There are 93 commits to this GitHub repository right now. So let's go ahead and download the zip file provided. So we just click this green code button and then download the zip file right here. So let's move this to our desktop, close that. Unzip this with, Win, with, <laughs> with WinRAR. Let's go ahead, open this, move that right there, delete that. All right, now we have the folder. This is the main Blend My NFTs folder. Let's open this. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is let's let's open this example file here. So this is the example Blend My NFT folder, or the, the, sorry, the example Blender folder that will be provided in the Blend My NFTs folder right here. If you have uh, your own NFT repository of attributes and variants in a blend dot blend file you, you'll have to move it into this blend my nfts folder um, the way blender reads file directories is kind of weird so it makes it easier for the blend file to read the scripts that you're going to be running here so if you have it if you have your blend file inside this this folder here so let me just open this example file here there we go it's open and that's awesome so uh, I won't get into the uh, configuration for your collections here. Uh, if you want, you can go down to the GitHub repository. The link for that is in the description. So just check that out. There's documentation there on the README file. Uh, if you scroll down on the page, you'll see how to properly format these collections here. So this tutorial is just going over how to run scripts and how to run them in the order uh, to generate images. So uh, let's go here. So uh, when you first open it, you might be in the layout section or you might be in the script section. So just navigate over here to the scripts, scripting tab uh, and it will open a blank text file. So let's go ahead and delete that. We'll click this X and click unlink. Uh, now let's click open. So this opens the Blender file view. Let's go to desktop and locate our Blend My NFTs main file. So let's click that. That's open now. Now a couple scripts you're going to want to open are main. So let's navigate to main. So we go to source, main, and then open main.py. All right. Now uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using a text editor called uh, Vi uh, Visual Studio Code. It's a free text editor on uh, provided by Microsoft. You can download it for free online. Right now, I'm just going to go and open the Blend My NFTs folder. Let's open that. And I'm going to navigate to config.py. Now, this folder is very important. You're going to want to be changing a lot of stuff in here about your NFTs and how they're generated. I won't get into the specifics, but this variable uh, defines the number of NFTs per batches per batch. So I'm going to set this to five for this example here, and we're going to be rendering batch one. 
if you want to read more about what all these variables do and how they work, uh, there might be another tutorial in the future in this playlist. So uh, look for that. And uh, there's more documentation about what this does in the readme file on the GitHub page. Okay, so another important uh, important variable to change is this one right here, this save path to Mac. So let's, let's change that. Because we're on Windows right now, so we're not gonna be using that. But we're, we, what we will be using is this save path windows variable. And we're gonna be setting this to the save path of the blend my NFTs folder here. So let's go ahead and right click on the folder, go to properties. We're gonna copy this location. We're gonna paste it inside the quotation marks there. We're gonna add another backspace, uh, uh, sorry, another backslash. We're gonna copy the name of blend my NFTs and we're gonna paste it right in there. So now we have the full path to this blend my NFTs folder. So that's all you have to do in the config file. Let's go ahead and exit out of this program. Let's open our blend file up again. And now we can run main.script. So we have main.py open. So let's go ahead and press this play button and run this script. And now if this is uh, green, that means it ran successfully. If it turns, if it's a red X, then that means there might be something wrong with your configuration formatting. If you want to troubleshoot it, you can click here and go to toggle system console if you're on Windows. Um, and it will display a whole bunch of information about the, um, the scripts that you just ran or some Blender operations. Now, if you're on Mac, you're going to have to run Blender, you're going to have to open Blender from a, uh, syst uh, from a terminal. Uh, Windows has this handy little toggle feature right there for the Blender console, but Mac doesn't, so you'll have to run it from uh, a terminal, and there's uh, documentation on how to do that in the readme file in the GitHub um, repository. So we just ran main, and let's see what that did. Let's open this. Now we see we have an NFT record file that was created. Let's also go to batches, and we have all of these batches that were made. Uh, we have 116. We have one weird sort of batch, weird numbered batch that just has one, but in the NF, but in all the other batches we have five. Now this happens because sometimes when you specify uh, the batch number, the, the the number of NFTs per batch, there might be some weird uh, leftover batch that doesn't fully fill. So uh, the program automatically just generates this smaller batch um, and you can run it just as a normal batch in the config file. There's nothing nothing different about it. So, all right, so we ran main.py and if you're generating images, you're gonna wanna have to, you're gonna wanna go to um, uh, click this open here, open the file view, uh, go back one folder, and then go into uh, generators and sorters, and click image generator.py. So now we have that file open, and this will generate. This will render all the images. So please note that whenever you run uh, run this script, Blender will sort of freeze up and will not respond to any input. Um, this is normal. It is rendering images. Um, uh, and a way the the way to check if it's doing that is by having this toggle, uh, this uh, Blender console open. Um, if you do not set this to be open when you run this script, you won't be able to see uh, the operations it's completing. Um, so yeah, so just make sure this is open whenever you run this script. All right, so let's go ahead and run the image generator. Let's click run and see what happens. Blender will freeze up and it will say it's not responding, but do not worry, it is definitely rendering something. Um, if you want more information, uh, before you run the image generator, go to window, and at the bottom of uh, the window tab, you will see um, toggle Blender console, and just toggle that on so you can see more information uh, that will be printed in the console. So let's go to NFT image output in the blend my NFTs folder here. Let's go here, and you should see a, uh, a batch one folder that will appear. Uh, a new 
folder is generated for every batch that you want to make. So there we go. And this is our first image. So we have our first image generated here and it's placed in this batch. Let me show you that one more time. All right, awesome. Now it should generate a couple more images. Uh, Blender doesn't really uh, work too well while I'm recording, so it might not generate all five, uh, but let's see what it does. I should get one more, at least one more. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Now we have two unique images that are generated generated with one my NFTs. So um, I don't know, maybe it will, but I don't know if it will finish generating everything. It, it crashes when I'm recording with my screen recorder here. So um, I think that's just because my computer is uh, not very good. It's a gaming rig, not really a um, rendering rig. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just gonna let this run. It might not complete, but that is how you operate the um, the image generator and how to get your blend file set up. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or are interested in the features of Blend My NFT um, or need some help with your program, please head on over to the Discord. Yeah, thank you for watching.